What's up, bros? NZG here. I hope everyone's having a good one. Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you, bros, a couple of different methods and a couple of different locations uh, how to make money or easy money and XP in the game of Red Dead Online at the moment. So the first one I will be showing you is in Tumbleweed, um, and you will need the Moonshine Roll for this method. Okay, you're going to need all the missions unlocked for the Moonshine Roll. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead, go press pause, go to progress, and go across over to story missions, and then into a life of a shine. And once you go into a life of a shine, you should have all of the missions within life of a shine unlocked, so you can replay them all. And if you don't, well then just go ahead and go up to Madame Nazar in your shack, and just complete all of the missions until you've completed all of them. And then you should be able to replay all those missions. Okay, so the first one that we are going to be doing is in Tumbleweed. Uh, like I said, this one is pretty good. We are going to be getting a coin, a random dig site, and a tarot card with this method using the Moonshine mission. So you're going to go ahead and dig the coin, which is right here at the water tower here in Tumbleweed. Once you've done that, you're going to come over here to this church here. And just by the side of the church, there's a random dig site, the back corner. Uh, just near this shovel here, leaning up against the building. So you're just going to go ahead and dig that dig site. Well, I think I mentioned this in my last video, but the beauty about these random dig sites where you just shove your hand down in the ground and grab like a random item out of the ground rather than a box. They do give you coins like very often, so I do like those ones. So once you've grabbed that one, you want to go ahead over here to this broken down building and come inside here. And when you come inside here, come up to the fireplace here and examine this tarot card. When you examine it, make sure you don't drop it, just hold on to it. And while you're holding it, you want to press pause or options, sorry, go down to progress, click on that. When you click on progress, go across to story missions and click on that. Then go across to a life of a shine and then click there. Once you're in a life of a shine, go down to the third moonshine story mission and hold square to replay that one. As soon as you bros hold square to like replay that one, well not as soon as you do, but you know, it's going to take a little bit for you to load into that mission. Then you're going to get like a little bit of a cutscene. Okay, when you bros do get that cutscene, just uh, make sure you skip that cutscene because you don't need to watch that cutscene. So this one right here, as soon as we can skip it, all we want to do is just skip it. So we go ahead and skip that cutscene, and once we've skipped the cutscene, we will spawn in the mission. So when we spawn in this mission here, we can either tap L1 to duck down behind this box here, or we can run away and run to the right behind this wall. But we're just going to tap R, R1, sorry, to duck down and then press pause, go to online and find a new free roam while we're inside this mission. And what this will do is obviously load us into a new free roam. But as you notice, the mission was in Annisburg and we were doing the glitch over in Tumbleweed. And we load back in over in Tumbleweed and not in Annisburg. So that's a little glitch going on in the game at the moment that your bro NZ Glitcher found. So you can take advantage of that and make some easy money and XP in the game of Red Dead Online at the moment. But if you don't have the Moonshine roll or any of those Moonshine missions complete, then do not worry. You still can do it, but just not with the tarot card, okay? Um, and you will also need to have a poker table available in your country. But if you don't have that, well, I'll explain how you're going to be able to do that as well. What you want to go ahead and do is dig the random dig site or the coin, whichever one first. So I dug the random dig site. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to dig this coin. I'm going to say hello to these folk here. Ran into a pretty nice posse here. They didn't even shoot us. Shout out to these boys. But once we dig that coin, we're going to jump down here. And once we jump down here, we're going to run to the poker table. If you bros are in a country that don't have the poker table, what you can do here is you can go to the bounty board 
and start up a legendary bounty mission instead and then continue on with the remainder of the steps after I enter the poker table here. But if you do have a poker table, you're going to hold square to start a private poker game. And that's if you bros do have a poker table in your country. If you don't have a poker table in your country, you're going to start up a legendary bounty mission instead. Okay, and then once you spawn inside here in the private poker game, you're going to sit here for 10 to 15 seconds at least. Okay, just to ensure that all your collectibles spawn back in because sometimes uh, one or two of them might not spawn back in if you do this part too quickly. Once you've done that, you want to press pause, go to online and find a new free roam. And um, if you bros are in legendary bounty because you are in a country where you don't have the poker table, what you want to do is do the same thing. When you spawn in that legendary bounty, as soon as you spawn in the mission and the mission started, just do the same thing. Just go to options. So go to online and then find a new free roam. And then when you load into the new free roam, if you've started the bounty, the legendary bounty you're going to load where the legendary bounty is so the downside is you're going to have to travel back to where the coins are or the collectibles are that you're duplicating but um the other downside is you both can only start a legendary bounty every half an hour so that's what you can do instead if you don't have the poker table in your country as well and you don't have the moonshine mission but the second location i'm going to show you bros is over here at Rhodes. you want to go ahead and place your markers exactly where i place mine on the map right there and then once you've done that, the bros are going to want to come to this coin here and dig this coin. So this one is a really good one. You're going to get $22 or, or something for this coin. Also, if any of your bros are unsure how much the, these valuables are worth or how much these collectibles sorry, are worth and how much XP they give you before you start doing the glitch, you can actually go over to my website too. And I will put a link to that in the description underneath the Gene Rope Key map. And that link will take you to a Madame Nazar price list, which has all of the items and um, how much all of them are worth and how much XP they all give you. So definitely go check that out. So once you've dug up that coin, you want to make your way over to this random collectible here. And you're going to go ahead and dig this one up. This is yet again another one where your character will just stick their hand in the ground. So it's a really good one for getting coins out of also. Once you've dug that one, you're going to come over here. And there's a tarot card here. You're going to pick up this tarot card. And this one right here is for you bros that have the moonshine roll with all those moonshine story missions complete. Because once you pick up this tarot card, you want to go to progress. You want to head over to story missions and click on that. And you're going to head over to a life of shine and click on that. Then head down to that third mission and hold square to replay that third mission. Okay, so obviously if you don't have the moonshine roll, you're just gonna like skip the tarot card. You're just gonna do the coin and the random dig site. Then what you're gonna do obviously is make your way to St. Denis and go to the poker table there, okay? If you bros don't have a poker table in your country, obviously just uh, head to the bounty board that's in Rhodes and start up a le any legendary bounty because all of them are solo, okay? Just start up any legendary bounty and once you load into that solo legendary bounty, just do what, um, just follow the steps that we do from now. Okay, so once we load into this Moonshine story mission, what we're going to do is, like I said before, we're just going to tap R1 to duck, or we're just going to run over here by this wall. And once we run over here by this wall, we just press pause or options, go to online, and then we'll select free roam. I have no idea why the pictures aren't coming up on the Red Dead pause menu. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just select free roam anyway. I think the game's bugging out a little bit at the moment. But yeah, once you select new free roam, it's obviously going to take like two or three minutes to load you into a new free roam. But when it does, you should load in very close near the collectibles you're duplicating. And you won't load in in Annisburg because some reason at the moment when we find a new free roam from Annisburg, we just don't load into Annisburg and we just load into like the area where we were last. So I hope you bros did enjoy the video. If you did, then please drop a like. And if you're not a sub, hit that sub button, turn on bell notifications. I'll catch you bros in the next one.